Mia and I'm back with another video. So it's been a month that I've been on Accutane. If you watched my little introduction to Accutane video, I'll link that. You should watch that before watching this video. But if not, then I'm just going to be talking about my one month on Accutane and any side effects, side effects, uh, side effects that I've experienced so far in the treatment. So Accutane is something that is for your face, it's to help with acne, and it has a lot of side effects that the dermatologists warn you about before you even go on it. And I'm just going to explain some of those side effects for those people that are curious or that want to go on Accutane or kind of debating on Accutane. So I will be telling you those side effects, I've already said that like 5 million times, but alright, let's get into it. So. I take my pill at night, it's like a pill, 40 milligrams of the medicine, and I take it every single night after I eat because you're supposed to take it with some fats so that it's not harsh on your stomach. And um, right immediately when I started taking it, I started getting side effects. So um, let's start with the face. So the side effects that I've started to get with my face, um, like the first week I broke out in cystic acne. So my history is cystic acne, that was the reason why I got an Accutane in the first place, like my first treatment. That'll be explained in the, um, pre in the introduction video too. So that's another thing, if you guys didn't know, I already had a treatment. So this is my second treatment. I broke out with cystic acne the first week. I had three on the side of my face, um, and then a whole thing on my other side, and it was horrible, because I haven't had cystic acne since like two years ago. So that sucks. And then also my lips started getting really like puffy. They were like red and they feel swollen, but they weren't swollen. And then they like evolved the next week after that and they started getting super, super dry and peely. Like now they're fine. My lips feel like my normal lips, which is good because I hated like that like feeling like that your lips were on fire and then the other feeling of like always having to like exfoliate your lips because I mean you don't want skin all over your lips and also my skin my face got really really dry it's still really really dry and it's kind of a benefit for me because I have extremely oily skin like to the point where I have to like blot a lot so to have dry skin it's like not too dry that I can't handle it but it's dry enough that I like it and I don't have to blot during the day at all like I used to have to um, so that's kind of nice for me. So also a huge, huge tip is get fridging moisturizer. Okay guys, so not only does your face get dry, but your whole body gets super, super dry. So you could be peeling on your face or you could, your legs get super, super dry, your arms get dry. Everything just feels like dehydrated. So you need to have a lot of water, um, a lot of moisturizer on your face at night. Um, it's like weird because during the day my face feels fine, but like at night it's like when I take off my makeup I have like weird like dry patches on my face so I always have to moisturize. So moisturizing, moisturizing is the biggest, biggest thing that you need. Moving on to my hair or like my scalp, it was super, super weird. So like I said before, like your whole body gets dry, my scalp got so dry that like I had to itch it all of the time and like the like dandruffy stuff was like coming off that's disgusting I'm so sorry TMI TMI but like it was like I had to itch my scalp all the time it was horrible I thought there was something wrong with my shampoo they thought there was something wrong with my conditioner and then like just like a few days ago it just stopped and like today I feel fine I don't have to itch my scalp or anything so it was really weird okay now a little shorter thing moving on to like my mouth i've noticed teeth sensitivity while i've been on accutane my teeth have always been sensitive but i've never they've never been so sensitive to the point that i'm like aware that like it hurts it doesn't hurt but you like if you have, if you're a person with sensitive teeth you know you just feel uncomfortable so that's another thing that i've noticed and then not even not involving like even your skin um, Accutane has caused me to become really achy and like sore more easily. Even the dermatologist said that it's going to make you feel sore easier. So you need to drink a lot of water when you're exercising and stretch after your exercises or else you're going to be way more sore than you are. And also like when I would lay down, it would like hurt to get back up. Like my chest would feel like it was like caving in, but not like literally caving in because that sounds really horrible, but like it hurt kind of. So that's really weird. 
So that was pretty much it, just a little rundown for the side effects of you guys. Just the main thing to know is get moisturizer, make sure you are always hydrated, and also another good tip is to get a humidifier. So those are the things that like your parents might have or something and it has like mist that comes out and it like makes your whole room like moist. Sorry guys, but like damp, damp? No, it doesn't make it damp, but it just makes the air more moisturizing, more humid kind of, so that your skin and everything else doesn't get as dried out. So that's another good thing that you guys should get. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more because there's going to be more videos coming out. Um, after the third month, I will have a video out and also I'm going to have a video on my acne story and why I got on Accutane and how to get on Accutane. So if you want to see that video, please keep subscribing, like this video, and comment any questions that you want. Follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.